Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Nest.js. Today we are going to learn about customizing the error messages in the Nest.js using the class validator. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment, comment on my video. So let's get started. In the previous video, we are all talked about the validation in the Nest.js using the class validator and the class transformer, right? So now we are trying to make it custom error messages in the Nest.js. So how we are going to do that? We are going to learn in this video. So here you have to make the custom validation like this is string message that the cat name must be a string is not empty. Then you can change the custom message over here is a string cat color should must be a string, <coughs> right? So this how you can customize the messages like this. If I go to save this and in the cat controller, we have already used the use pipes. Okay. And here you can see the use pipes validation pipes, then create a DTO imported. And in the use pipes, new validation pipe, create other body, create it, cat DTO. So now whatever in the DTO, it's going to be validated. So let's go to the postman and check. First, we will check cat name is required. If I put any kind of number over here, what will print? You can see cat created because it's in the string, right? If I go and just remove the strings over here, what will happen? Cat name must be a string, right? So these are the val this this is how we can make a custom messages validation into our Nest.js application. Okay. So any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day and don't forget to like, share, and comment on my video. Have a nice day.